So as you begin to acquire skills in, in various areas of your life uh, as, as you progress, as you get older, right, you'll start to notice there's a lot of uh, commonalities that uh, start popping up. You know, common things that you can apply across domains uh, to really accelerate your learning. And that's what I want to uh, bring to the table here to show you guys how you can bring some of these things that other masters of their craft in other fields are doing, how we can bring that in to cybersecurity to, uh, you know, increase the chances of becoming excellent. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Now, this particular tactic that I wanted to introduce in this video is the idea of kind of isolating and conquering uh, your biggest challenges, your biggest issues, right? This is certainly applicable to the OSCP, right? In the OSCP, there's a lot of moving parts to it. I mean, take a look at the PDF, right? Uh, that PDF they give you, the exercises, there's so many different things. Now, of course, not everything on the PDF is on the exam. And, uh, you know, check out my, uh, my video breakdown I did on uh, the OSCP. It'll be in the cards, uh, you know, what you need to know for the uh, OSCP exam, basically, where I, uh, the beginner's roadmap uh, to the OSCP in 2021. I break down specifically out of the PDF what will be on the exam and what isn't on the exam. But, you know, for the most part, there's definitely a lot of different moving parts to it. So the way most people go about training in any, I guess in any domain you can really say, right? The natural way most people would probably try to tackle the OSCP and stuff like this is they're just going to practice every box kind of end to end, right? They're going to try to go from boot to root, right? They're going to go from running their end map scan to enumerating the services, uh, you know, A to Z, the entire process every time all the way through. What's going to happen is naturally you're going to have your strong points and you're going to have your weak points, right? I mean, that's pretty much the case with anything, right? It's kind of how, how is your mind naturally wired? What things do you have an easier time with? What things do you have a harder time with, right? There's always going to be, it's going to be different for everyone, but everyone's going to have those areas where they're a little weaker. And if you're always practicing like from boot to root, then it's going to take you a lot longer to strengthen your weak points. So instead, one tactic that we can take that other masters of their various fields have done is the idea of segmenting your practice, right? Targeting something specific that you're maybe weak at, right? Now, let's give an example of how we can apply this to say OSCP, right? Let's say that you are struggling with privilege escalation, right? That's one of your weak points, one of your weak areas for the sake of this example. The way most people would tackle this is they would just say, hey, I'm just going to do more boxes, right? I'm going to do, I'm going to try to root, you know, 10 more boxes, 20 more boxes on like hack the box or offset proving grounds, or maybe even in the OSCP labs, the PWK, right? And this is not a bad strategy per se. You will level up your privest skill set by taking this approach, but is it... Is it optimal? No, not really. The reason why, and the reason why it is not optimal is that, you know, your weakness is, in this case, privilege escalation, right? Think about all these boxes or most of the boxes you've done. What percentage of the time were you actually working on the privilege escalation? You know, unless you hit some major hurdles, probably not too long, right? That was a, that was a small percentage of it. So, you know, most people are going to just practice this end to end, right? And they're already solid on their end map. They're already solid on their enumeration. You know, of course, they'll probably learn new things here and there from doing these additional 10, 20 boxes, right? But my point is their weak point, the area that they really would be better served targeting, they're only spending, you know, a fraction of their time on it. So instead, an approach that you can take would be to segment and only focus on privilege escalation for a time, Right. So maybe you get a course on Udemy like the uh, the Tiberius courses. Awesome courses, by the way. If you haven't checked those out, uh, Udemy, Tiberius. He has a course on Linux privilege escalation and Windows privilege escalation. And it's a 
pretty comprehensive guide. Specifically, uh, these are for OSCP. So uh, definitely really good resources. I have not completed them yet. I'm working through them myself, though, and I will say that a lot of the stuff that he's teaching there are things that I have personally encountered uh, on a lot of CTFs and things like that. So definitely check that out if you haven't as a little aside. I don't get any plug, any uh, any affiliate, anything for promoting this. This is just something that I'm personally recommending. But uh, yeah, when you look at musicians, right? Let's take musicians. They're, you know... Maybe they, they're not the richest people in the world, but you can't deny musicians are skilled. You know, a lot of them are very, very skilled at their craft, very skilled at their instrument. And if any of you guys have, have played uh, any instruments yourself, then you'll know that one of the core things that you learn from that is the idea of not just playing your music from the first measure to the last measure all the way through without stopping, right? That's more of a performance, you know? You do perform for sure, and it's very important to perform, but you also practice. And practice is different than performance, right? When you practice something uh, in music, you just take, you know, a set of measures, you know, a segment of the song, if you're not very musically inclined, a segment of the song and you just practice that segment over and over and over again, right? And you practice transitioning into that and out of that. And you really just hammer home those weak points. You target, you hyper-focus on those weak points and then you string it all together at the end, right? And the reason that musicians practice this way is it is the most efficient way to, you know, shore up these weak points, right? Right. And so we can apply that same approach to OSCP, you know, or to whatever we're trying to learn as pen testers, as hackers, right? We can target those segments, those sections, those things that we struggle with, and we can just focus on those and then still at the same time go into performance mode where we try to go boot to root, right? Beginning to end on a box, but we also target our our practice. This is extremely, you know, if you're not... Uh, if, if the music example doesn't resonate with you as much, maybe martial arts is something you've you've done, right? Or any kind of sport, right? You have you have your competitions, right? Your games, your matches, uh, where you're actually you know going at it with the you know the full picture, right? No holds barred. But you also take time to practice to train, right? And what do you do when you train? You train a specific uh, technique, right? A specific aspect of the game is what you what you work on in your training. So it's the same thing, right? We can apply the same methodology that uh, you know musicians apply, that athletes apply, and that we can we can distinguish training from the actual competition, right? Because when when we go to take the OSCP exam, that's more of like a you know a performance or competition kind of setup, right? We're, we're trying to go boot to root on, on five boxes, right, on the, on the exam. Well, just because we're doing that in the exam doesn't mean we should, that should be what we're doing in all of our preparation time, right? We should be training. We should be drilling specific techniques instead of just always being in performance slash competition mode, right? So we should take that same approach that the athletes and the musicians and it, masters of their craft take as well. So definitely something to think about. And really you can learn a lot from other domains and really pull that in. And that's something that I really try to hammer home on this channel. So if this video resonated with you, if you have not already, please hit the subscribe button to help out with the algorithms, like it as well. And then maybe we can help out some other people that might be kind of struggling to connect the dots here. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys over in some of these OSCP videos if you are eager to get started and start drilling and training today. Thanks for watching.